Hey, what is up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be unboxing some skating boards. Mm -hmm. I was gonna clean up my bed and make it look like I actually clean. I don't. But look at him. He's so cute. He looks so comfy and cozy. Ooh, you, you. He's my buddy. He's gonna be with us in the video. His name's Jacob. He's my favorite. I love you. So, right here, I have a very special uh, Christmas gift from mythic skateboards that I'm going to be unboxing and uh, it's kind of fitting actually uh, this is gonna be uploaded on uh, Christmas Eve um, that was not planned I just upload on Fridays I don't keep track of dates or anything I don't I don't know I don't know what year it is man half the time but uh you know this isn't this is by far not the best uh, skateboarding Christmas Eve video to be uploaded that one goes to Dustin Dolan's episode on the nine club where he says this I wanted a Christmas Eve episode because I feel like kids are lonely on Christmas Eve because they're with their family and not their mm. skate family. So yeah, uh, if you uh, happen to be missing out on your skating families, don't worry mates, you'll see them soon and you'll be riding soon. And if you're one of those weird people that actually enjoys spending time with your family, hey, good on you mate, Merry Christmas. I, uh, myself being a pagan, celebrate Yule it was Yule before it was Christmas, but let's not get political or religious here. Let's just all have a happy and merry Yuletide and celebrate by giving and loving and opening presents like these skateboards here. So actually, I'm very excited about this. I get to, I get to pick my boards out when I order them. Oh, uh, uh, only ordered two this time, but this graphic right here, check it out. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Look at that. The black and the pink. I love it so much. And then this one's pretty cool too. It's like Stranger Things vibes. Yeah. Pretty good graphics, man. I'm excited to shred the gnar on these boards. I think I'm going to set this one up. It's very pretty. Love the colors so much. Wow! So I got myself some blank black grip tape here that I'm gonna throw on this masterpiece and I'm gonna preface this by saying I suck at gripping boards. So bad, terrible. Every time, I fuck it up, every time. But we'll give it our best shot. Please upload, damn it! As you guys probably saw from my last week's upload, I've uh, been pretty sick for like the greater part of the last week. I got kind of worried that I had COVID. I probably should have got a test, but I've had COVID before and this didn't really feel like COVID. I just, uh, I was just sick. I think what happened is I got a cold and then it, like I got over the cold and then it mutated into a flu. I've been super sick, but I'm finally starting to feel better now. Like, check it out, I'm down to just two jackets now. Like, yesterday I was wearing a hoodie underneath these two jackets because I couldn't maintain my temperature, man. But luckily I wasn't spewing all over the place or like, you know, hacking my lungs out or anything like that so nothing like to cause huge concern i never lost my sense of taste or smell but like what i'm saying is like stay safe out there guys wear your masks uh social distance you know don't get others sick if you're sick stay home and quarantine if you're uh feeling symptomatic you know uh just stay safe out there guys other updates i uh <laughs> i got a new tattoo Ugh. Now I'm one of those basic bitches with a uh, Zodiac tat. Because I'm a Sagittarius. God, I can't get the angle on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you see it now? But I still think like my favorite tattoo has got to be um, some, ow, some chick's name on my arm right there. I think that's my favorite one. I definitely need a lot more tattoos. Lots more tattoos. I need a skateboard tattoo. I'm going to put my jackets back on. I'm getting cold. Now that I'm finally starting to feel better, I can get back to the regularly scheduled programming that you guys probably want to see, and that's more skateboarding. As far as what I've been doing is I've just been playing a lot of video games, like more than just the skateboarding video games I showed you guys. Like I, I, I like played Halo Infinite, beat it, fantastic game. I thought it was a little short though. Been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I've just been playing a lot of video games, man. By the way, 
Multiplayer for Halo Infinite, amazing. Story, amazing. But like, the campaign only went like eight hours long, man. But that inspirational quote from Master Chief to the pilot guy, I'm worthless. should leave me here with the rest of the garbage. We all fail. We all make mistakes. It's what makes us human. I needed that. I needed that so bad. Wow, I am actually very frustrated with this grip job. I really need to get a razor or something, man, or maybe sharpen my knives every once in a while. Maybe that'll help. It looks like Buddy's going away. I love you, kitty. Yeah, I'm not even gonna cap, mates. I don't have too much to talk about because I haven't been doing much. But in my defense, how much can you do when you're sick as fuck, man? I'm just glad that I'm finally getting over it and I could get back to skating soon. And then maybe I'll actually have something interesting to talk about. Fat chance on that though, man. I ain't got no life. Just skate and play video games, man. Skating's the best shit ever, though. Mm. But like I mentioned already, it do be Christmas Eve. Um, and uh, I hope everyone has an amazing holiday. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, if you're like me and you celebrate Yule, like anything you celebrate, man, I hope, I hope it's an amazing day. Or maybe some of you are of a faith that, uh, you know, you don't, uh, celebrate anything and uh, regardless though I hope that it's an amazing day for you I, I love every single one of you and I hope that you all have the day that you want to have and uh, th those of you that are like waiting to go skate with your skate families man I uh, I hope you get to do that very soon and um, that whole thing about like people being weird for wanting to spend time with their families man that was just a joke why I bring that up is uh, because um, I uh, also sympathize for some of you who may not be able to spend time with your families this holiday season like uh, you would like to um, either by being a distance away or work or anything like that because my mom's is working Christmas and my dad is a semi truck driver so he's not going to be home for Christmas unfortunately and I mean of course that whole thing about like the family thing was a joke I love my family it, especially my father man and it, it sucks sometimes not being able to see him but uh, we will still be celebrating Christmas um, and uh, you will wrapped up into one because I'm I'm the weird one in the situation I celebrate something different but we kind of you know blend the holidays you know because Christmas and Yule and Hanukkah and all that like it has the meaning that you give to it You know like it has its own special meaning, but it means something special and different to each one of us And for me, it's just about seeing and spending time with my family the gifts are only a small part of it You know like you don't need gifts, you know just your presence alone can be a gift. That's why it's called presence mm -hmm. Anyways, that's enough of my rambling. I hope that you guys have an amazing whatever you celebrate. Get in there. You know what, actually, while I'm thinking about it, and we're still on the subject of Christmas, who the hell's idea was Santa Claus, man? Like, like, can you imagine if that idea was brought up in today's society? Like, yeah, some fucking fat guy with a beard knows when you're awake and when you're asleep, and he's got a list and he's checking it twice, and he's gonna, he's gonna find out if you're naughty or nice. Like, what the fuck are any of those two things supposed to mean? Like, when I was a kid, being naughty sounded, like, kind of bad, right? But now that I'm an adult, it's, it sounds kind of fun, actually. I, I like it when I get naughty, you know what I'm saying? And then, because he knows when you're awake and when you're asleep, he's gonna come down your chimney at night when you're asleep, and then, and then he's gonna drink all my milk and eat all my cookies. Like, that just makes me uncomfy, man. Like, I'm gonna, like, I don't even got a chimney, but if I had one, I would, like, I would, like, turn up the temperature, bro. Keep your fat ass out of my house. You know, actually, the, the whole elves thing, that just sounds like a sweatshop. Like, does he even pay them? What the hell? And, like, what's the deal with him wanting you to sit on his lap? That's just weird. 
You know what piece of holiday folklore actually does make sense to me, though? Krampus. Like, I mean, it's, it's foolproof. Be nice to your sister or Krampus is gonna come kick your ass. Now that is a good story. All right, well, I got me board set up. Check it out. It's got like a lot of pink, man. I'm all with it. Um, it's bad weather outside, so my, but my, my sister moved out, so I'm gonna just go do a trick in her old room. Yes. Well, hell yeah. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. My Christmas wish came true. I'll be back on the board soon. Yeah! Dashing through the snow, eyes buck on blow. I don't really know how this is gonna go. Whoa. Jingle bells, I need some help. I think I broke my leg. Now I'm thinking what the hell is in the snow I lay. I should have listened when you said I was too high to ride the sleigh. But I figured fuck it and I did it anyway. Jingle bells, I need some help. This is a shitty day. How was I supposed to know grandma would knock it out the way? Now she thinks that she was hit by a reindeer. Now she's brain dead and I really need a beer. Jingle bells, I need some help. I definitely broke my leg. And that's why you don't get high and ride in a no 